Hello everybody, today you're going to be learning about Pikachu. Everything there is to know. The different movesets, the different items and how they synergize, his attack type, and also his base, base stats. So let's start with the stats, okay? And we'll get into some other stuff and then some gameplay. Okay, here we are looking at Pikachu's stats. And the first thing I want to really kind of point out is over here at the basic attack. So what a lot of people don't know, all basic attacks scale off of the attack uh stat and all of the boosted attacks for any of the pokemon scale off of their preferred uh attacks attack type so pikachu is a special attacker and most everything scales with special attack that's why if you're going to be focusing on a damage a bursty build for pikachu you want to be using something that, bur that boosts special attack like uh, uh special glasses or wise glasses uh shell bell or things like that so let's talk about the basic attacks for Pikachu. Basic attacks, uh, just kind of a little bit of damage being shot in a ranged form from Pikachu. The uh, no level 5, 15 base damage for the normal attack is 290. For the boosted attack, which is every third attack, uh, is going to be 702. So a pretty, pretty big third attack there. Pretty big boosted attack. Again, that scales with your uh, special attack. So uh, definitely good to kind of keep that in mind. If you're trying to increase the amount of damage that you're doing on the third attack, special attack is how you do it. Uh, in addition, the special, the boosted attack also paralyzes opposing Pokemon for a short time when it hits. Pikachu has a really nice combination of damage and also utility, and uh, we'll talk more about that soon. Okay, so special attacks number one, Thundershock is what you start with. Uh, it upgrades at level four, and uh, it's just pretty good. It's just a little bit of damage to Pokemon. Really good for securing last hits while you're laning. Electro Ball is your next choice between Electro Ball and Thunder. Electro Ball hurls an electric orb, deals damage, it leaves him paralyzed. But the key with this one is that this move damage increases the lower the opposing Pokemon's HP is. So this is a bit of an execute move. And um, it's really good to keep that in mind that you want to be using this when, they, when the enemy is low. It's going to do more damage than if they have higher attack again. This all scales off a of special. You can see this right here under, under style. Uh, scales off a of special right there. Uh, Thunder is the other option there to replace your special one attack with. Uh, drops Wicked Thunderbolts, dealing damage in an area of effect, uh, and it upgrades at level 11 as well. Basically, uh, an AoE damage. Good AoE uh, team fight kind of damage. Synergizes well with the ultimate, with the Unite ability, uh, but does not have the execute power that Electro Ball has. Your other option, you start with Electro Web. Electro Web is really nice for the early game. Uh, it You shoot an electric web at your enemy, and it leaves them unable to move. Not very good for last hitting, however, good for locking down an enemy and potentially getting a kill in the earlier portion of the game. It upgrades at level 6. Again, this scales off a of special attack, like all of Pikachu's attacks do. You then get the choice between Volt Tackle and Thunderbolt. Volt Tackle, you charge at the enemy, and you throw it up in the air a little bit, which is basically a hindrance. It stops them from moving for a period of time. Uh, and then you move back to range, which is really important to keep in mind. So you jump in there, you shock him up into the air, and then you move back to range, which is good. You don't really want to be in melee as Pikachu. You're squishy. We'll talk more about that later on. A uh, good amount of damage, good amount of utility. Um, it's not my preferred. And uh, over here, you see the base damage. It does a little bit damage than Thunderbolt. My actual reason why it's not my preferred, though, is because of the AoE of Thunderbolt and the utility of Thunderbolt. I'll use that. I'll talk to that in about just a second. You can also choose instead of Volt Tackle, Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt is a strong electric blast that deals damage in area, and then it leaves them unable to act for a second. It's a hindrance. It stops them from moving for, from a second or acting. Why I like Thunderbolt more, more damage, that's great. The real reason why I like Thunderbolt more, though, is actually because you can stun multiple people. This is a phenomenal escape tool and a phenomenal engage tool. Uh, it feels a lot more versatile to me than Volt Tackle. You can stun them. Uh, while they're chasing you, you can stun them before a fight, you can start a fight and then stun them before they can get too far, and you can stun multiple people, whereas Volt Tackle is a short a CC on one individual person. And finally, Pikachu's Unite move. Look at that damage. That is a lot of damage right there. Base damage at level 15, right? It uh, so has a lot of potential damage. Attacks opposing Pokemon near the user with tremendous bolts of lightning. So basically, it's just an AoE lightning effect around you. I gotta say that I think that if, if you're the full best synergy is probably going to be thunder volt tackle and thunderstorm for the most synergy but i think that the my favorite build and the, my most consistent build with pikachu is actually electric ball and uh, thunderbolt i like the range damage i like sitting in the back and putting down constant amount of damage and dps and hindrance to the enemies so now let's look about some stats okay 
So uh, they, they rank basically high offense, low endurance. This is definitely true. Decent mobility, okay scoring, very low support. I disagree with the low support. I actually find that Pikachu has a lot of utility, a bit like Ninetales. Is an attacker, but actually has a lot of utility for an attacker. Let's look at level 15 stats. He's the most important. HP, not very buff, not very tanky in, in, as far as a health pool goes. Attack, so this is what, what augments your auto attack damage, your basic attack damage. Defense, very squishy. Very low defense stats, very low special defense stats. Um, basically, you, you're, you're a bit of a glass canyon, a cannon as a Pikachu. You do not want to be getting in there in front of people's faces for long, which is why I love Thunderbolt, which allows me to get some good escapes going. Special attack is the key here for Pikachu. Uh, one of the higher special attacks in the game on, on the base side. I know Venusaur is higher. There's a few others too that I think are, are as high or higher, but really pretty powerful uh, special attack. And that's why I think that your best bet for itemization, which we're going to talk about now, is going to be going for special attack based items. Let's go ahead and talk about the items in more detail though. So coming over here to the items, the first thing I want to say is like most Pokemon, there are multiple ways to build Pikachu. I don't like it when somebody says, oh, you have to use this on Pikachu. It might be optimal, but it's not the only way of going about it. If you're really good, you might be able to think about team comp as what you might want to bring into your battle. But in addition, sometimes you just want to have fun or do something a little bit unexpected. So for example, you could use Muscle Band. There is a play with Muscle Band for Pikachu. Um, and the reason why is we talked about how powerful that, that boosted attack is. It is so, so, so strong in comparison to the normal attacks. And right here, you can see Muscle Band gives you attack, which is not very useful for Pikachu, but it also gives you basic attack speed. I'm not suggesting to bring Muscle Band in if you're playing very seriously, but there is a play with Muscle Band, and that's my point here. It's just that, really, these Pokemon are very versatile in what you can bring in. And I'm going to show you a little bit of a trick on charging up to your, ba your, your boosted attack before you can get into a fight, um, which is kind of a cool thing you can do. Um, I'll show you that in the gameplay portion, which is coming up. So what I would basically suggest for Pikachu is going to be sticking to the special attack. It's going to it's going to benefit you the most often and in the most situations. So I'll give you an example here. Wise Glasses is phenomenally strong. The following effects can be gained when the held item is up is graded at level 20. Increased special attack by 7%. That is huge. You saw on the other page that he has almost almost a thousand special attack at level 15. This is going to give an extra 7, which is 70 special attack, in addition to the plus 30, uh, 29 to 30 about, that is just from the upgrade as well. So a lot of extra attack damage there, a lot of extra special attack damage, which scales with all of Pikachu's ability and his boosted attack. Shell Bell's okay. I've seen it recommended before for Pikachu. It's not my favorite. Uh, basically, Shell Bell allows you to heal. You recover 60 HP. The higher the, the Pokemon special attack, the more HP it recovers. So it does allow you to recover, but the cooldown, I think, is 10 seconds. Last I checked, unless they may have changed it. Uh, the cooldown is really, really long on Shell Bell. Every 10 seconds, getting a decent boost of health is nice, but it's not that much. Even with a little bit of a cooldown reduction across the board, I believe this cooldown reduction here that you're looking at, special attack plus 12.8, that's helpful, but not a ton, not as much as Wise Glasses. Cooldown, I believe, is cooldown reduction across the board. So it does let your abilities come on off cooldown a little bit faster, but it's so, it's not much. It's not much of a difference. Shell Bell is good, but I don't believe it's the best one here for Pikachu. Uh, Buddy Barrier is all over one of the best uh, held items in the game right now. Uh, very, very good for Pikachu. I would recommend it. Good for any Pokemon. Basically, when you use your Unite move, you gain a shield. Uh, and nearby, uh, the nearby ally Pokemon with the lowest HP also gain a shield worth 30% of their max HP. That's not your max HP, that's all max HP. So although Pikachu doesn't have a big HP pool, you're not going to get a huge shield from Buddy Barrier. It is useful. And also you see here that it's going to give you 300 HP as well, which is uh, about 5% additional HP at level at level 15. It's, it's pretty significant. Stick away from Rocky Helmet in most cases. Energy Amplifier, not really what I would recommend. Score Shield is... It's kind of good overall right now, but it's very specific. Um, it really does scale better with, with um, other other builds that allow you to, to score a lot. So we won't talk about it too much. Aos Cookie, I wouldn't suggest here. Assault Vest, not really. Attack Weight, no. Again, there's a way to use it, but I don't recommend it. Float Stone is interesting. I've seen it recommended here. It does give you an additional movement speed by 10% when the, when the Pokemon is not in combat. And this additional movement speed down here on the bottom where it shows right here, 
I don't know if that's in combat or not, to be honest. If somebody knows the answer, they can go ahead and post it in there. But increased movement speed is good, but you do miss out a little bit with the extra attack. I think Floatstone is optional for Pikachu. I think it could be a good one, uh, but it, it doesn't. it's not a have to pick. Whereas I feel like Special Glass is, uh, is pretty much a have to pick here. Leftovers, I wouldn't recommend. H XP share, not really. I don't recommend it for basically anybody. Focus Band um, allows you to recover HP when you're really low. I don't really recommend it for Pikachu. There's not a lot of HP to recover. Special Attack Specs, though, uh, can be really, really good for Pikachu. Basically, whenever you are, I mean, whenever you score a goal, your Special Attack increases by 8. And uh, this, only, this only goes up a certain amount. I think it might be 10 times. I'm not sure if it's 10 or 5. Um, but it is it is a significant amount of special attack in addition to the special attack that it just gives you as you level it up. So I think special attack specs is very good for Pikachu here. Float Zone's pretty good. It's situational. Uh, score cookie situational but can be really good. Buddy Bear is almost a half to take. It's just really good overall. Shell Bell is pretty good but not the best. Wise Glasses. Mmm. Do like. I like the Wise Glasses for Pikachu. A lot of burst damage, especially how I play Pikachu. So... There you go. That is the different uh, recommended build for Pikachu. Again, like I've said, you really can go almost anywhere. And a lot of these guys, uh, Pokemon Unite hasn't been the clearest with what these all do. And so a lot of the stuff that I've, I've learned, I've just learned from seeing other people review and test these items. So there's probably other ways that you can make this work. We're going to really quickly here talk about what sort of uh, active item you might want to use here uh, for Pikachu. There's a few viable ones, but the one that is really the best overall right now, Eject is the best uh, usable held item. It just is. Um, or power item, it, it, it's the best. So you really do generally want to take uh, Eject. Pikachu does not have a good escape. Um, so using Eject is almost a must-have. That being said, X Attack is pretty good as well. You do benefit from the special attack that you, that you get increased. Speed's not bad on anybody, really, but I don't generally recommend it. Full heal can be really good, but again, Pikachu lacks mobility, so I think Eject is still the best there. Gold Getter uh, is very unique and very situational. I don't recommend it, generally. There's a few a few times and situations you might want it, but it's not, it's, not, it's not a normal high pick rate for me. So Eject Button is what I re would recommend for most people who are trying to play and pick up Pikachu. All right, let's get into some games then and show you guys... How to dominate with a little bit of Pika power. All right, we're stopping in here real quick to show you guys the different uh, abilities here for Pikachu before we get to the gameplay. Thundershock, you start with at level one as one of the options. The other option is Electroweb, which we will show you now. Basically, Thundershock is just a little bit of a a little bit of a push right there, a little bit of extra damage. It is immediate, which is important to know. Uh, so you uh, you won't have to worry about. Um, there you go. We got to the next level. You don't have to worry about them like um, running away or, or any kind of cast time. It's immediate. Whereas watch Electro Web, it takes some travel time, right? Thundershock is bam. It's it's like basically immediate. If it's not quite immediate, it's pretty darn close. Um, but Electro Web has a little bit of travel time. Travel time, bam. So the damage happens basically immediately. So let's go ahead and um, level ourselves up a bit more so we can go ahead and, and show you some of the other abilities here. Get a couple more ones. At level 4, you can choose between Electro Ball and Thunder. Um, you're going to be seeing a lot of Electro Ball, but we'll show you it first. Basically, Electro Ball is um, just a, it's an execute. It does more damage based upon the lower the health is. So we saw there the move damage did 973 damage right there. Boom. 973 damage is what that gave me uh, for one Electro Ball. It does more damage the lower they are. Okay, let's go up and level up a little bit more so I can show you the other one. Let's show you uh, Thunderbolt as well. So Thunderbolt and Electro Ball is actually my preferred move. So Thunderbolt has this AoE that comes down from the sky and then stuns. It did about 714 damage, which is not much considering that my Thunderbolt now does because I'm a higher level. 892. Uh, still though, uh, sorry, my Electro Ball. My Thunderbolt is really nice though because it has this wide area of effect. So you don't have to really be that careful with aiming it. And more importantly to me, it stuns multiple targets, so that's why I like to I like Electro Ball here a lot. But um, let's go ahead and show you guys the level 9, the Unite move. Here we are, level 9. It's this massive amount of uh, repeating AoE damage in an area for all the Pokemon that are around you. 300 and, or 3,244, that's a lot of damage. Pretty good for securing objectives, uh, but really good for team fights. So when you kind of want, what you want to do when you're going for a fight with Pikachu is something along the lines of like, 
Um, throw out a Thunderbolt, throw out Electro Ball, and then use your ultimate. And that way, while you're on your ultimate, everything else is on cooldown. You don't want to be wasting time, right? So get them on cooldown and then use your ultimate is the best way of going about it. Let's go back and uh, start way back from the beginning and show you guys the other build path that you can go. All right, so I fast forward here to level four. And we're going to pick Thunder this time. Here's our Thunder. So right there, the move did six, one, 1,160 damage. That is more damage than anything else we've had at this point, and it's probably more damage than anything else except for maybe Electro Ball when they're really low, when they're close to an execute. So that's a lot of damage, right? And the, the cooldown's pretty low, too. The problem, the reason why I don't choose this one, although it is very good, is that it doesn't have that stun. The AoE stun, I think, is really, really useful. So although this is a very nice amount of damage, really good for poking at range or something like that, for me, it lacks a utility that I really enjoy in uh, these Pokemon. We're going to level up now and get Volt Tackle. Here you go. This is Volt. 635. So it's definitely a lot less than um, Electro Ball or our Thunder Shock would be. Uh, it's not even close, in fact. But you'll notice something kind of cool about it. One, it's a gap closer, which is kind of nice. You'll see that, that I end up being... I, I move slightly forward, but not much. I'm still in range, right? So here it is. If I get right in range, I come in there, and then I kind of pop back almost to where I was. More or less, it's pretty close to where I was. And so the thing about that that kind of makes it really nice is just that uh, it's a good. you can stop them pretty quickly and uh, keep them in an area with a little bit of hindrance. So if I was to drop a thunder and then jump in there, I can keep it in there, and I do a decent amount of damage over time. But I just don't think it's as useful. Um, so I, I like to go Thundershock and, um, and Electro Ball. I think that those are probably the best for Pikachu at this time. So here we are picking up Pikachu. Pikachu is an attacker. And uh, we'll probably be, we can go either top or bottom here. Because Cinderace is going top and they're another attacker, I'd like to go bottom. I'd like to split us up a little bit. That being said, we don't have a defender or support anyway. So it doesn't matter too much. In a lot of ways, I can act like a support. And so for that reason, I could go either top or bottom. Let's think about it. Gengar Machamp. I'd rather be top with Cinderace. Mm, I'm going to go bottom. I know I just said that, but I'm going to go bottom because uh, two range top is not as good as one range and one melee. Let me show you what I'm bringing in. I'm bringing Wise Glasses for the extra special attack. I'm bringing Buddy Barrier for the health. I'm bringing Shell Bell because I don't have uh, special specs um, leveled up at all. And so it's really, I'll take a level 15 over level 1. Uh, specs in this case. Let's grab ourselves a hollow gear just because we've got it and he's adorable and we're ready to play some Pikachu. I'll show you guys some cool stuff. So um, I don't have my settings necessarily fully optimized at this time. Uh, there are some things that you can do that, that I've chosen not to do with some of my abilities and at, at different times of playing. To give you a little bit of example of that, I'll just uh, mention that what I have done is I've separated out so I have two different attack buttons. My A button will, uh, I'm playing on the Switch, my A button will, will focus any um, other enemy Pokemon, where my B button will focus neutral mobs, um, the different neutral Pokemon that are in the game that we're trying to last hit. The reason why I really do suggest you do this as well is because there are some times when you want to secure a Pokemon, uh, secure points by um, killing one of the neutrals, and there's other times when you actually want to do a little bit more uh, damage to an opposing Pokemon instead. So as you can kind of see, there's a good amount of damage on that last hit even just for us being this really low level this time. And uh, we're going to just kind of push up here. We don't really care too much. There's a Machamp here. There shouldn't be. All right. So I'm going to go down and go to bot, basically. Um, I, 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 I would not have honestly gone. Okay, he missed that. We're going to, to bot because right now we're switching. Machamp um, is now going to go into the jungle. I don't know what our teammate's doing. We can use the L button here to go ahead and just scan to see what he's doing as we're walking up into our lane. Uh, ooh, I like that. That was a really good grab by our boy here. And uh, we're looking to make sure we uh, secure that kill. So we actually flashed in and then used Thundershock to try to get it at the last second. Oh, we get two kills. That's perfect. I'm grabbing my Electro Ball. I'm going for a dunk. And then I might go to see if I can steal any XP. So you can actually charge up your auto attacks. So my next one was the charge one. Did you see that? I shot two auto attacks in the middle of nowhere. I should have kept that electro ball. We're going to keep this one until this guy's nice and low. And then use it to last hit. 
Electro Ball is really nice for last hitting because it does a lot of damage. Oh, I forgot that we had all this stuff in the middle here. We're going to use it up front uh, first because we were trying to just get some damage down. I was thinking about scaring him away, but instead of becoming scared... Oh, what a, what a hit! Nicely done! Oh, man, I am digging this Haunter. This Haunter is destroying. So right now I'm hitting my B button just in case somebody comes over here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm trying to make sure I, I'm targeting the uh, uh, the Pokemon instead of uh, targeting one of my one of my ally, uh, enemy Pokemon. Right there, we just used very nicely. In fact, our Electro Ball while he was nice and low on health, and now we're just gonna go ahead and just um, we're focusing them. We're using our A button to make sure we can focus, and now we're switching to our B button. Our B button is allowing us to go back to focusing this neutral mob, and uh, I honestly just want to kill the mob first. Boom! Did you see how I... S There's a very important thing about Pikachu I definitely have to mention. You have a lot of CC potential. And so I actually ended up stacking my CC. If you saw that properly, what you would have seen is that I did one, and then I did the other one. Because that stun takes a second, right? They're stunned for a little period of time. We're going to get two here. And then I immediately hit it again. And because of that slight delay between the two, I was able to stun into stun... And uh, it was pretty good. Oh, we have a teammate down there. I didn't even see them. Do I need to go topside? What's the deal here? Uh, we have a, we have an objective coming up. So we're going to go down here. Start attacking this. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then just kind of keep putting damage down there. Oh, we're going to miss a little bit on that one. A good amount of damage. I'm going to dunk here and try to finish this. And there we go. That's dangerous. That's dangerous. We're trying to put that in front of him so he didn't have anywhere to go, right? So you can use Thunderbolt as a really good uh, area of effect sort of denial. I'm going to come up here and do it again. I'm going to help my teammate right here by getting that out there. Oh, lots of damage. And then we're going to go ahead and finish it up. Hopefully, before we can save our teammate, we can't. I tried to save our teammate right there. I think we're going to have this in the bag, right? No. No, we don't. Okay, I don't, I really maybe shouldn't be here, but I really don't want this guy to come in. We're going to go ahead and ult. And the reason why I did that is because I really don't want this guy to come and kill our Dreadnought. So. And again, he's getting nice and low. We're going to go ahead and use our Electro Ball, which does more damage the lower health he is. So I think you're getting the point. I, we're actually destroying right now. Um, we are six and, uh, what, eight and six, so we're doing really, really well right now. We've got a huge advantage in XP, and um, I'm going to try to take this if I can. Um, just because I'm walking by, and I'd like to keep the XP going. Uh, let's see if we can maybe go and dunk this. I've got some shields and stuff, but really, it's a big dunk. 40's tough to get in. I have my eject button, so I'm feeling pretty confident that I can at least get out of here. If I need to. Between Eject and Thunderbolt, I should be able to make that move. Alright, so uh, we're good. We're going to go ahead and just start doing a bunch of damage to this guy. And um, uh, Pikachu is not very good at clearing groupings. This is actually one of the better builds if you're trying to clear a group of, of, of mobs. But it really is not very good. You can see just how long it's taking me to clear like four little dudes right in the middle. Pikachu does a lot of single target and we're going to let our buddy finish there. Actually, I definitely should have and could have capped first. Then we could have gotten mine in for free and uh, still gotten his in. Your goal is not to push down the lane like it is in, say, uh, League of Legends. Your goal is actually in this game to uh, maximize your points. So, Look at that. Look at the damages. We're going to get out of here because there's other people closing in on us. This guy's behind me, and I'm going to make sure that he can't follow me. Did you see how I used I used my Thunderbolt there to basically area of effect deny him? I denied him from getting any closer. If he tried, if he kept chasing, he would have been stunned. I would have gotten away without having to use my Flash. And that's why I really like it. He had the Volt. That was the Volt tackle right there that you just saw. And um, it, it's it's good, but it just, to me, it doesn't take the, the place of what you can do with um, a little bit more mobility is what I find. So we'll use our we'll use our different um, abilities here to just kind of keep Dreadnought going down. I want to keep my Thunderbolt though. 
Thunderbolt, I'm holding on to in case somebody comes in here, right? And we're able to get it pretty easily, and it looks like we've got somebody on top side being a pain in the butt. And we've got an AFK person as well. Let's come up here and uh, see if we can't cause some damage to any of these guys. Okay. We're going to go ahead and, and put our ult in. And then we're going to come over here. Stun, and look at that. Nicely done. Good kills right there. A lot of damage. Lots of points. Uh, we've got three minutes now. Three minutes to get our... Basically, we, we have to get our uh, stuff back up. We really want to get our ultimate back up in time to make sure that we can uh, have it for a final fight. Looks like apparently we're struggling. Our, we, were, we had a massive lead, and then the moment that our buddy uh, left the game, um, we, we lost a lot of it, it really seems. So I'm looking to help our buddy here by basically dropping if, whatever we have to kind of slow down their push. And then, yep. I knew you were going to do that, my friend. But the problem for you is that I have a teammate here. And uh, we're ready. We're ready to go again. We're trying to kind of get this guy uh, stunned. So we could go ahead and stun lock him just like that. And now I'm going to try to put 50 in. Ooh. We want it. We want this dunk. It's big. It's fat. Oh, it was beautiful. It was nicely done, in fact. Um, we can we can try to... I don't really want to fight too much here. This guy, I'm pretty sure I can fight. But... One. And then into Thunderbolt. I need to get that out. All right. Perfect. I'm sorry. Electro Ball right there. We're going to return to base, get our health back, and then we're going to go in and protect this main objective here. So, I think you've gotten a pretty good idea of what we're doing and how we're kind of playing this game. So right now, uh, we would like to get this. Okay, I am targeting based on... There's a lot of people right here. I don't need my... my I don't need to use my Unite at this time, I don't believe. I'm going to now. Because I got pretty low. And now they're all dead. And I'm going to try to use this as fast as possible and try to get them get them down. Oh, man. This is going to be tough. I got it. I, I secured the final one right there. And we have a ton of points. And we're going to go for a dunk now. We're going to get this dunk instantly. We've got a flash ready to go. He's not going to be able to stop me here. So we're just going to dunk, and then we're going to go back. We might try to help this guy. So we, we wanted to help our Cinderace there try to secure their uh, their dunk. Unfortunately, Cinderace wasn't able to get it all the way in. Um, but it, we did okay there, and I think we're going to actually definitely win this game here. I went back to base. This is another really good tip. I went back to base, and I'm ready to defend, right? My team died trying to dunk. And so right now, the place I need to be is making sure that they don't get another 100 points by getting a last second score. And so we're going to sit back here for a little bit. And we're, they're just about out of time. We're going to make sure that they can't get in here. Perfect. Well done, I'd say. 533 to 270. Kind of close, all things considered. We really dominated that early stage. But uh, I think we're going we're gonna to have to sit there and say we've done all right. And um, we'll see it right here for sure. 16 and 10. A massive amount of kills and a good amount of dunks as well. I think that uh, our team overall did pretty well. I was a little sad that that guy went AFK for a bit, but he came back. Uh, frankly, we hard carried that game is the truth of the matter. And uh, this was a normals game. I am currently ranked in a, a high ultra area. I've been unable to push the rest of the way. Excuse me, to Masters. Um, I feel like I have to pick up a duo partner or two to kind of finish my Masters run. But I'm very close, so... I feel pretty confident with my abilities, and uh, that was a good showcase, I think, of Pikachu, the damage that Pikachu can do, and also the utility that Pikachu has. So, well done indeed. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time.